happy Sunday from this real life teddy bear. <laughs> Good afternoon. We are so happy that you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. Um, we have spent the whole morning cleaning up the apartment, getting ready, because we're having Sunday dinner at our house tonight. Um, but now we are headed out to one of the Open House Chicago locations, the Koval Distillery, to take a look around. Um, Open House Chicago is an event this weekend where different locations, I think Peter might have mentioned it yesterday in the vlog, um, basically it's like a festival throughout the whole city where buildings and notable architecture, all that fun stuff in Chicago, they allow people to come on in and just like tour it. Um, so we are going to do that before our visitors come over today. from our apartment, yeah. which is really cool. And I don't even know where to begin. The first distillery to open in Chicago since the mid 1800s. So tall. Yeah, these beautiful prints. That's so nice. What did you try? I tried the cranberry gin. Was it good? Which is really good, yeah. I, I wanted to try just because it, it smelled so good. But I don't drink. <laughs> it was good? Would you get a whole bottle? I do want to get one. A nice little patio too. Wait, I smell food. It is like a, um, a tasting room and there's like you can there's order drinks there. in there. But there's pizza there's pizza. I don't know if there's a ramp. Let's see what this is. Oh, come on, let's go down and see what's up. It's a distillery, so it's not the most um, stroller accessible place. Well, this is actually the only issue was we couldn't get to the to the patio parking lot, but they have that pizza thing set up. James made a friend over there playing with chalk. So Sarah's getting a piece of pizza. I got a cranberry spritzer, cranberry orange, and then you know bub bubbly water. So I'm hanging up here with little Teddy there, who's an actual teddy bear, with my very holiday delicious gin. Jamesy, look what I got. We got a little slice of pizza from Demos that has a tent here. Peter's up there because there's no ramp. We're just gonna eat our pizza, color, and be happy. Mm. Your belly button's out. <laughs> I thought you meant me. 
How was it over there, guys? I like. I noticed while you were playing. Look at that. The ivy over here is changing colors. Yeah. How cool is that? That's Chicago Fall. I like the How's clock. Your drink? Really good. Yeah. Really, really good. It's what I imagined it tastes like when I saw the billboard last. I remember specifically. It's like it was over in Ashland. The billboard was over in Ashland, and I think on the way to James's and Teddy's doctor. Well, back then it was just James's doctor. Yeah. We were going there for something, and. You're like, hey. Probably after he was born, like probably one of his the first four weeks of going all the time. And I was like, wait, I've had that Koval bourbon. They have a cranberry gin? I've just been perusing like an old man. So the cousins are coming over and James needs a nap. We decided, since it's about two miles from where we live, that I'm gonna walk home with James. Hopefully he'll fall asleep and then whatever additional minutes good amount of time hopefully he gets back at home will work out and so sarah's actually gonna drive with teddy and go check out one or two more spots i don't know if they're gonna go in or not um but they're kind of they, there's two places that are not too far they're like next to each other if i can get the sentence out and they're not too far out of the way home so she's gonna go check those out with teddy i'm gonna walk home with james through ravenswood beautiful neighborhoodly neighborhood yeah, English is hard today, I guess. But great day. The chill is here in Chicago. I'm sad to report to anybody coming in the near future. A little bit chilly. I think I saw 31 as a low during one of the days this week. Now that is some fall action right there. See, I haven't seen such nice reds in so long. This person even decked out their bike with some fall foliage. Okay, before I really have my hands full, I just wanted to say that this neighborhood is beautiful. We have not like hung out here much at all um it's uptown but also ravenswood is close by and yeah i just like parked on a side street and i am going to go to one maybe two more open house chicago locations before heading back we're really close um but it'll be the perfect distance for me to drive and do these couple things and peter to, to walk home with james but teddy's asleep in the car seat so i'm gonna have to carry him along with me. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go to the Riviera Theater first. So if you're familiar or know of Chicago venues, there is the Aragon Ballroom right there. And then this is Broadway. And then here is the Riviera. I have never been here. Come on in, it's free. Teddy's awake. <laughs> I'm a total dope, Teddy. This location was only open yesterday. I did not check the time. So that is a bummer, um, but it's still nice to go and see the outside. We'll have to come back and see a show here. Judah and the Lion are performing there. Um, so maybe we'll look at tickets for any show coming up. But I am bummed. I saw some cool pictures of the inside earlier and it looks so beautiful. I tried to open the door and it just wouldn't open. I was like, wait a minute. Most of the hours were noon to five, but for today there, it just said closed. However, when I was finding a parking spot, I did see another building over there that had the Open House Chicago on it. So I'm gonna go see what that is so that this trip isn't all for naught. So this is actually the other location in this neighborhood I was hoping to go to, the Buddhist Temple of Chicago. I'm not gonna take any video inside, um, but I'll let you know how it is. Um, I think we need to find some babysitters. I think Sarah and I need to go to this place that it has to be new, it's called Lost Never Found. I think it took the place of Rudolph's? Oh look, they got skeletons in the window. It looks very cool in there, like very cool. Oh, Christmas. I got this little handout while I was in there, which I thought would be nice to share with everyone. If you want to pause and either, either little section to read more about it. Very interesting, I know I, no idea and this is so close to us its history is tied in with um japanese americans relocating after they were in the internment camps after world war ii um 
and they just had a really nice setup of history and people talking and just was a pleasant surprise of a, of a location that I got to visit. Um, so yeah, if you're interested, definitely check, check that out. Oh no, I think Teddy might be sad. Um, but be sure to pause and read a little bit more, um, more about that. Teddy was upset, so I don't know if I got cut off or if I finished my thought. Um, but yeah, I'm right on Broadway, so I'm just going to head on back. A nice little taste of Open House Chicago. Reminded me of my college days when I would have to go for like classwork and stuff to check out architecture and buildings. So that was, that was just lovely. Um, why was that singular crow? Just chilling. That's like way too far, way too horror movie-ish. <laughs> All right, cousins are over. Christina and the kids are over. We're just kind of chilling before we they start cooking dinner. I don't. I'm not sure why. I just found uh, Evie's food bowl in the hallway. Maybe a Luca doing, but that was funny. But we're just hanging out. Watching Nightmare Before Christmas. All right, we're at the park. We got Luca in the wagon. We got the little ones in the carriers. Dad? Uh, I want to guess. Whoever touches this first one, skip my lips. You excited? Where do you want to go? Back your head. Yeah. <laughs> I'll put fire. <laughs> Where is Where is it? They're right here. Ah, you kicked me! Oh, oh no, you kicked me again. Oh, 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 you kicked me. Whoa, that's a funky trick. Oh, one. Oh, two. Uh, three. Oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> wow. You can use this? All right, so Vivi and I are going to get our dinner going for tonight. And I guess Luca too. <laughs> Do you want bow ties or rigatoni, like little tubies? I kind of like that better. Me too. These are my favorite noodles of all kinds. Yeah, I actually just like butter on. I actually just like butter and cheese on my noodles. Great. That's what we're. That's what we're doing for. I like the I, children. I always really want that. Yeah, it is really good. You can't go wrong. So we will go with the bow ties for dinner tonight. We got water boiling here. Oh. That's so good. Yeah, and we got couscous going for little Mediterranean bowls. Let's see it. I mix some of the couscous with a baby cucumber chopped small, and cherry tomatoes chopped small, lemon juice, and dill weed. And here is our finished bowl. I also chopped up pepperoncini. There's pickles in there, falafel, um, a little lettuce and spinach combo with Caesar dressing on it. Oh, and the most important thing, this garlic spread dip from Trader Joe's. It is the best. I also put some tabbouleh hummus on it as well. Oh, we got Haunted Mansion on. Christina brought cookies that have JoJo's in them from Trader Joe's and pumpkin bread. She's a little baker. Ooh. Christina's well known for her cookie baking, if you did not know. All right. Christina and the kids just left. It's like 7.30. Oh, happy Teddy. Um, which funny, because like, to me this doesn't feel like anything worse than what happens with James playing with the toys. But I think every container was dumped out at one point. I got like one of them cleaned up earlier, and they didn't redump it, but... Sign of a good time. That's what happens when you have a family over, right? And so now we're gonna wind down. We got Luca on. 
remember, I think it's bath night, or it might need to be because of the park. Oh, you're so happy? Yeah. You're so happy? Yeah. <laughs> <gasps> 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 yeah. The secret great thing about having people over on Sundays is the cleaning that we do, and even in the spots where people aren't going to be in. Yeah. Like. Fresh. The big bed in the boys' room. What? James is reading the table now. Look at how sweet he is, captivated by it. It's a frog. Ribbit, ribbit. What's next? Oh, the purple cat. <laughs> 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 Big cat say rar. What do you mean? No. 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 Not in the not in the closet. Mr. Yeah, spots not in the closet. It's a monkey. Look at monkey. Okay, let's go to the next one. Is spot under the stairs? <laughs> oh, it's not spot, it's a lion, you're right. <laughs> You got that animal noise down. Do you love being read to by your brother? Oh yeah. And it all was quiet again. We got everything cleaned up. Both working to end the weekend. You're wrapping up? Yeah. I'm wrapping up. Okay. Great. Oh gosh, this is gonna be a fun week. It's like a false week, start to the week, because I'm taking Tuesday off work. It's yeah. like, yes, it's Monday, but mm -hmm. I just need to get through. I have like a presentation tomorrow afternoon. But and we have plans that, on Friday, so it's like an extra fake week because that'll be like, we'll be thinking about that and not work. It's good to be good home. Good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>